Oh, um, what's it like performing in a room full of people? It's really good. If it's going well, it feels absolutely fantastic. It's like, um, it's so nice to have a room full of people looking at you and laughing at you. If it's a room full of people and they're not laughing at you, it's uh, the worst thing in the world. But even then, it's still kind of fun. Borneo, there's a place called Kaching, which is like the Las Vegas of Borneo. I thought Borneo was in Africa. Gondor, which oh. I thought was in Middle Earth. That's the North Pole. Yeah. Santa lives there. Madagascar, where they make penguins. Colombo, he's a detective. Puny, just an insult. Time is different in different places. That's one of the things I know about geography. This whole area is just sponsored by Amazon. And up here in Canada, there's just a place called None of It. And I will be having none of it. Hi, I'm uh, Matt Young. I'm a uh, stand-up comedian and other sorts of, and a two-time university dropout. I like making people laugh. I like having, uh, feeling like everyone's looking at me. <laughs> I like being um, on a stage and being able to talk to, you know, a bunch of people at once and be sort of getting a chance to communicate ideas, that sort of thing. I really like, um, yeah, the, the opportunity to say pretty much whatever you want outside of social conversation. I like, I like making people laugh and smile. I recently lost my license, <laughs> which is a demoralizing experience. Uh, I have to drive an hour to and from work each day, so I try to make it a bit fun. I try to make a little game of it. I play this game, and I like to call it get there as fast as you possibly can. Um, so I played that game. I, was, uh, I, I did get caught speeding, so I lost my license. I was doing 110 in an 80 zone, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with that kind of sentence. But if the first number's bigger than the second number, you're doing something illegal. <laughs> so, I was doing close to 30 over the speed limit and uh, I saw a police car coming the other direction and I was immediately filled with that feeling when like, you have your hand in your pants and someone sees you with your hand in your pants. <laughs> and you take your hand out, but you know that they know that you've done something wrong. <laughs> I started down in Tassie and Tassie's really, really nice down there. Because there's like four comedy venues and you just sort of do, there's like a gig a week. So you kind of just do like one gig a week and it's all the same people, it's all the same crowds, you're just doing the same jokes and it's all really fun and communal. Um, but then you move over to Melbourne and it's just like dog eat dog, competitive. Um, everyone's just working for spots and gigs and people just do it like flat out full time. Um, and it's just more of a hobby down in Tassie. I think you become a lot freer as a person. Uh, when he was sort of studying, he wasn't really enjoying what he was doing. So in terms of pulling out, he was kind of able to focus on the things that he really wanted to do. You go to high school, you go to uni, you get a degree, you get a job, life goes on. I think people sort of forget about the fact that there's, the, you know, careers existed before university and thousands of people succeed, millions of people succeed without having a degree of any kind. And there's inf infinite avenues to success. You don't need to go to uni. Um, so, yeah, I think it's the default way that a lot of people see, but I guess it's the easy way is because it's the one that's laid out for you from the start of primary school. So you always know that that's how things are going to go. I think it all depends on like why you choose to drop out of uni. It's kind of the key reason. A lot of people drop out because it's too hard and I think that's kind of a silly idea to do something. But if you're dropping out to chase a dream or chase a goal, then like you should go for it. People are afraid of the idea of making mistakes and think that making a mistake is just an abject failure, but they don't realise that it's just as useful to work out what you don't want to do as it is to work out what you do want to do, because in that sense, life's just a massive process of elimination. There's some weird things in Victoria, like your slang's all kind of weird, you know, like, like you guys call a, um, like you call a goon bag a goon sack. Like, you, like uh, you, call a, you call a chicken palmy a palmer, like you say sister, we say wife, it's just... <laughs> it's hard for me to wrap either of my heads around, so... And I've learnt all the things I don't enjoy, I've learnt what I do enjoy more, and now I feel like I'm at a point where I'm going back next year to university to do a degree that I was offered in 2012 and I said no to. So it's taken me five years to work out that I actually wanted to do it. And now I'm actually, I feel like I'm on the right path and I do know what I want to do and I know who I am. I've discovered a bit of identity. You know, I think it's been the most useful thing ever, dropping out of consecutive unis. <laughs> Try um, anything that you thought you wanted to do when you were a child. Write down a list of just anything you would do if you weren't scared to do it 
and then go, well, fuck it. I guess I'm just going to have to do it and then try all those things. Uh, and you're going to hate some of them. You're going to love some of them um, and find ways to sandwich them into your life as often as possible. Just do what you enjoy as often as you can and then find a way to monetize it. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name's just Matt. It's not Matthew. It says Matt on my birth certificate. My parents decided pretty early on that, that would be the only thing about me, which is short. Um, and my penis, obviously. Hey. Comedy. <laughs> Strapping. <laughs> now, my surname's Young. Uh, I think surnames are fascinating. I think they're really cool because they say your surname comes from something significant that your ancestors did back in the day. Does anyone have a surname like that? No? What's your surname, man? Reed. Reed. Yeah. There you go. See? Exactly. You know? If your surname's Farmer, like your ancestors probably owned a farm. Your surname Smith, they're probably Blacksmiths or Silversmiths. If it's Reed, I guess they played a lot of woodwind. I don't know. <laughs> Not a lot of music fans in. Uh, 